be, I'm like always thinking about yarn or knitting. I am just a cable girly. So knitting has really just become my like primary source of comfort. It can be so hard to make friends as an adult. Hi, cozy friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Morgan and I love to unravel with my cozy hobbies, mostly knitting and reading. Today, this video is going to be a little different of a format. I decided to do a bit of a knit and chat. I'm going to work on a project while I chat with you about lots of knitty updates lately and some knitting thoughts. Firstly, let's talk about what I'm wearing. I am wearing my August sweater by Joanna Gersh. I've been wearing it honestly nonstop since I've finish knitting it. I'm so obsessed. It's so cozy. It's the perfect fit. And I made it in Maker's Cozy Wool in the color Brown Marl. I am going to be working on the Storm Sweater Junior by Petite Knit. This is probably my third Junior Petite Knit sweater I'm making. And this pattern is so similar to the Ingrid Sweater Junior, which I have already made in the past. But I made that one a little bit too small for my son. He didn't get to wear it very long. But I think I might have been knitting it just a little tight. But I have high hopes that this one is going to go a lot better. I am knitting this sweater in Scandi wool in the color Eucalyptus. It is actually the most beautiful sage color and I am so obsessed. <laughs> I love all things green. I could literally knit every pattern ever in brown or green and happily wear all of them. It always amazes me how quickly these baby knits work up, but I am making this size five to six years because even though my son is only two, he grows so quickly. So I want to make sure that he can not only wear it this winter, but hopefully next winter as well. And I'm already joined in the round for the body. I'm having so much fun working on it and I really think it'll be done in no time. Both the Storm Sweater and the Ingrid Sweater from Petite Knit are so addictive. I think chart knitting in itself is so addictive because you just can't wait to get to the next part of the pattern. You just are knitting until the next section and then you're there and you just want to keep going. It's just like that mindset of reading just one more chapter before going to bed and then you end up finishing the book. <laughs> Speaking of books, I am still a Twisted Crowns, which I was reading in my latest vlog. It is the second book in the Shepherd King series. The first book is called One Dark Window. I am enjoying the second book even more than I enjoyed the first one. There's new perspectives and it's just so good. I love the writing style. It's very atmospheric. It's perfect for it being winter here in Australia. Make sure you let me know down in the comments what you are working on while watching or what you have been reading lately. Speaking of this pattern being so addictive though, I had a whole conversation with my husband about whether or not he thinks I am addicted to knitting. He literally means nothing ill about it, but sometimes he'll like come in the room while he's getting ready for work and my son is playing with his toys first thing in the morning and I'll pick up my knit. He'll be like, are you knitting already? <laughs> Or if we're heading out the door, sometimes I'll throw a project in my bag in case my son ends up asleep in his car seat and I need to hang out in the car waiting for him to wake up. I just always make sure I'm prepared to knit for a few minutes if I'll have the time. He definitely didn't mean anything bad about it and he loves that I knit, especially for our son. He loves putting my knits on our son and he has even been requesting a cardigan recently and I'll definitely be doing a yarn haul in this video because his cardigan yarn just got here today. But I was definitely internalizing those comments. Is it getting too obsessive to the point where it's like a problem. Anytime I'm not knitting, I'm either browsing patterns and project planning, shopping yarn or organizing my yarn stash, whatever it may be, I'm like always thinking about yarn or knitting. We both said like, this is really my coping mechanism. It truly is an act of meditation, but it also helps me keep my hands and my brain active. And as someone with anxiety, like that is so crucial to my mental health. As a stay at home mom, it can be really difficult to feel productive in all the mundane tasks. And that is valuable, but it doesn't help me feel productive. Like I've checked off another thing on the list because it's just the day to day things that can all just feel like you're just a cog in the wheel of life and you're not living. So knitting has really just become my like primary source of comfort for my mental health. And I think that brings so much value, not only to myself, but also to my family, because you can't pour into other cups if yours is depleted. 
And speaking of filling your cup, this channel and my knitting has also allowed me such a sense of community. By making these videos, I am making so many friends who love the same hobbies as me. I actually met my friend Mickey here in Canberra and Haley from Haley's Space. She was traveling. She's up here from Melbourne. Sorry, Melbourne. We had a little knit and sip and we knit together. It was honestly just so needed and spend time with friends that have the same interests as me. It can be so hard to make friends as an adult, especially when I'm living abroad, I'm a mom. So being able to find and have that has been so healing for me. Before Mickey got off work, Haley and I were just just walking around we popped into a bookshop and we were just pointing out all the books we love and have read and recommending to each other and then during our knit and sip we were just talking about life and then all the yarny things and it's just so incredible to have friends that like get your interests and so that really filled my cup I think it's a pretty common feeling as an adult to struggle to, with friendships or just all in different seasons of life. So if you already had friends, you can feel like you're growing apart. Or if you move to a new area, it can be like, how do I even make friends? Especially as a stay at home mom, who's like not going into the workplace and able to make friends with coworkers. Most of my conversations happen with a two year old and with my husband, just being able to step out of mom mode and go be Morgan and hang out with some friends that have common interests was just so valuable. Like I had said, our paths only crossed because of my YouTube channel, so it genuinely cannot be understated how much value making these videos is bringing my life, not only because I feel like I can share my hobbies on here, but also because it's bleeding into my real life and like I'm able to make friends even though I moved across the globe. <laughs> like that's actually crazy. The reason I had cast on this sweater this weekend was actually during that conversation with my husband, I was telling him I was feeling a little burnt out and he's like, well, why don't you just go to the bedroom and knit for a little while? Um, I'll take care of Arthur and you don't worry about anything, just go knit. And I'm like, I start crying. I'm like, I don't have anything on the needles. <laughs> I had such finish it mojo during my last vlog that I literally finished everything on my needles. I still have a sleeve to go of the Arctic light, but I didn't feel like picking up stitches and trying to get in the flow of that pattern at the moment. So I just um, pulled this yarn out. I got it during the recent 50% off sale from Spotlight. Shout out to Mickey for influencing me to shop that sale. And I went and hid in the room and cast on this sweater so that I would have something on the needles. It really was crazy to me how much that helped. Like just stepping away, like who to thunk, just stepping out of mom mode, whether it's to see friends or to just do something that fills my cup. I think it's just something that's so important to prioritize. Whether you are a mom or you are just a, a human being, no matter what responsibilities are on your plate, it is so crucial to have something that is for you, that allows you to turn off your brain and spend time connecting with yourself. Honestly, sometimes for me, that can be as simple as watching Sims videos. Like I, I've always loved the game The Sims. I don't even have my PC here, so I can't really play it. But watching Sims YouTubers, which I have for years, brings me so much comfort. Whether it is your comfort YouTubers or reality TV or reading and knitting, whatever it is, make sure you make time for that. Like that is the entire intention of my channel. I want the takeaway to always be, don't forget to spend time unraveling and bringing yourself comfort. Funnily enough, even though this is the project I took on our knitting date, I don't think I did much knitting. I maybe got like two rows complete during the entire time I was hanging out with them. I was way too busy chatting to be counting stitches and I didn't bring, and I didn't have anything that was just stockinette on the needles. So of course with charted knitting, you have to be counting and paying attention to what you're doing. I'm on a pretty simple part of the pattern as of right now, but it still requires some brain think. <laughs> My friend Matilda from Nestled in Knits commented that she was so amazed as a beginner knitter that I am always doing so many mindful knits. And I really loved that term. I had not heard it before. I think she was referring to knits that involve like charts and cable work. 
And I found that very funny because those are the kinds of patterns that like relax me the most. It not only allows me to use my hands, but also my brain and chart knitting actually really helps with your memory, but it really allows me that same escapism, I think, as reading while also keeping my hands busy. So it just feels like the ultimate comfort for me especially cable work and cable knits are my favorite aesthetic as well. I am just a cable girly. We were talking about how Mickey really loves lace work knitting. I love cable work and Haley loves a good stockinette stitch pattern and color work. She is so good at busting out a color work project. And I find it so interesting that even with the same hobby, we all find different kinds of knits more relaxing. I would love for you to let me know down in the comments what your favorite type of knitting is. Do you like to do cables or color work, stockinette, or lace? I'd love for you to let me know. Another conversation we had was about the idea of a capsule wardrobe. I really want to be knitting things in colors that all work really well together and can be mixed and matched for lots of different outfit variations and just work really well in my wardrobe. I'm such a naturals and neutrals person. Like I said, I could knit everything in like browns, tans, and greens. <laughs> but I think I want to make a video soon about some of my knitting plans for a capsule wardrobe. I think sweater knitting is really my favorite thing and I'm always saving sweater patterns. But I'd like to spend some time knitting on some more versatile projects that can be worn throughout different seasons as we're going to be going into spring and summer here soon. Mickey, Haley, and I are going to be doing a buddy knit soon of the Cumulus blouse, which is going to be very, very versatile. I'm going to be doing my Cumulus blouse in this yarn. It is the Dolce yarn. I got it on Hobie, and it is a kid mohair in this beautiful dusty rose. Nikki ordered her yarn, so as soon as she gets it, we're going to do a Zoom cast on party and get knitting on it. So I will definitely be talking about that project on here soon. I mentioned I have a yarn haul coming up in this video, and I ordered a ton of yarn, but all of it was just so that I could get some more Wool of the Andes in the color Mink Heather to finish off my book club cardigan. I will make sure to put on the screen what progress I have made on it, but I had to stop with only a few more inches of the button band to go because I ran out of yarn. This pattern eats so much more yarn than I expected and that was stated on the pattern, which is really unfortunate. I think a lot of people are struggling with that issue in the knit along. The knit along deadline is August 10th and I really didn't think my yarn was going to come in time for me to finish by then. So I was pretty disappointed, especially with how quickly I did knit up this cardigan. But my yarn is here, so I'm definitely going to be hunkering down and working on that button band after filming this. <laughs> but of course, I wasn't going to just order a couple balls of that yarn and pay $20 shipping when I could spend 120 Australian dollars and get free shipping. <laughs> So Crafty Girl Math says spending more money is saving money. So I got a ton of their Simply Wool in the color Winnie. I'm going to be using this yarn to make my husband the Slade cardigan. And then whatever is left over, I'm definitely going to make a cardigan for myself. I ordered so much of it because it was on a 50% off sale as well. I really did save so much money on ordering them, but obviously I spent money I didn't need to spend. But Crafty Girl Math allows me to justify this purchase. And honestly, it's an investment in my hobby. <laughs> His cardigan is very high up on my queue. I might be starting it next. I'm just waiting on my yarn Swift to come in. I got a yarn ball winder, but my Swift hasn't gotten here yet. The last time I tried to wind up a hank like this and I didn't have a Swift, I had it wrapped around my knees while trying to wind up the yarn and it was honestly an insane core workout. So I'm going to not be doing that again. <laughs> but I think that's going to be just about all for this knit and chat. Please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this knit and chat style. This felt like such a nice way to sit and catch up and knit during my son's nap. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not already, subscribe so you don't miss future cozy videos. If we aren't already, make sure you add me on Instagram so that we can be friends. Thank you so much for unraveling with me and don't forget to do something that brings you comfort today. I will be wishing you a very cozy week.